Hello, hello everyone. You are most welcome to the analysis of different literary works. And uh, dear students and all lovers of literature, uh, today we have the analysis of the play that is called Black Mamba. This play was uh, written by a playwright called John Ruganda. Publishers are East African Educational Publishers Limited, and uh, this play was published in 1973. The press of publication of this play uh, is Nairobi, Kampala, and Dar es Salaam. Welcome. So, before we begin, let us look at the introduction, a short introduction of the, uh, of, of the play and a little bit about the, the playlight. So, Black Mamba is a comedy play that was written by a Ugandan playwright called Johnny Luganda. Johnny Luganda is apart from this work a writer of other works or plays like The Burdens and the Shlets of Tenderness, Music Without Tears, Echoes of Silence, and Covenant with Death. Black Mamba discusses about daily human difficulties that face people on their way to building their better future. So this play discusses some of the issues like, okay, so like um, moral decay or betrayal. Okay, so that's a short introduction about the play and the play right. Now, dear uh, students, and dear followers of my channel, let us look at uh, the plot summary of the play. So this play is divided into three parts, namely part one, part two, and part three. So part one. So the setting of part one. What is the setting of part one? So part one takes place at prof uh, Professor or Professor Cox's living room. So in this play, we are going to have a character who is called Professor Cox. So this room is decorated with bows or bows and arrow. The room uh, has spears, tables, and chairs. There are also bookshelves, which indicate that the house belongs to an educated professor. And I have told you that this professor is called Professor Cox. So Professor's houseboy called Berewa is busy laying the dinner table because it is uh, in the evening and uh, they are going to have dinner. So then another character co that is called Namudu joins the stage. Right? So this, is, as I've told you, that this uh, part one takes place at Professor's uh, living room. And they are ready to take uh, dinner. Namudu is happy because she has received uh, 100 shilling after making love with the Professor Cox. So Namudu is a woman. Now she is happy after receiving 100 shillings when she made love with Professor Cox. So she's paid after making love. In fact, Professor Cox is... Uh, sleeping with the wife of his houseboy but unknowingly uh, so although professor cox sleeps with that woman the husband of the woman or berewa uh, who is the husband of namudu is happy when his wife gets that money and you can check that on page seven of the play Namudu and the Berewa quarrel about how to use money they received. So after uh, Namudu receiving 100 shillings, she shows the money to Berewa or her husband, but they decided to make an argument on how they are going to use uh, that amount of money. So Berewa wants that money to be banked, but the wife wants a new dress. So there are different opinions on how they are going to use that money. Namudu wants to be like other women. 
she wants to look decent and beautiful like Namata. So she wants a dress, but the man wants the money to be begged so that at the end of the time they may build the house because remember um, their house was bent down in the village. Okay, so in this, also in this part, Berewa and Namundu Kwaro over or about how long Namudu should sleep with the professor. So Namundu or the wife wants it to be the I mean um Namundu or the wife wants it to be the, the last time or the end while Berewa or the husband wants it to continue until they get enough money. So uh, maybe in the Berewa wants it to take a place for about three months. Berewa wants to grow economically through his wife, and therefore Berewa wants to use his wife as investment. Berewa persuades his wife to, con I mean, to continue for three months. Dear students, uh, it is important to understand that Professor had a wife, but the wife of Professor Cox was absent and was expected to be back after three months. So, in this uh, play, or in this part, part one, the lever also insisted that Namuru should make sure that she satisfies the professor. Remember, Berewa is the husband of Namudu, but he is insisting that Namudu makes whatever she can to just please the professor so that they get enough money. Also, in this part, we get to understand about Odiambo. Uh, Odiambo uh, comes to look for the professor and I remember Odiambo is a student. He wants his essay to be marked. But in the end we come to discover and realize that Odiambo is a spy. He is an informer. Odiambo wants to involve Berewa in his work of spying. He is spying uh, the professor. He wants to know more about the professor and how he goes about different women. Okay, so in this part also, Odiambo discovers that university teachers are involved in prostitution and this can be seen on page 18. Dear students and lovers of literature, let us dive into part two of this play. When, okay, now because uh, the first part took part in Professor's uh, living room, where do you think part two is going to take place? And uh, what do you think is going to happen in this part? Because uh, we have seen that the part one, we had discovered that uh, Odiambo is a spy and he just went there to spy about uh, the professor, how the professor goes about different women and how he takes part into prostitution. We have seen that uh, 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 the professor had uh, a woman called Namudu and Namudu was the wife of Berewa. So now let us look at part two. The setting of part two is also at Professor, Professor Cox's living room. Professor finds his room dealt and rough on page 23. So, the Professor enters in his room but only to find it being dealt and rough. He doesn't know what has happened. He sees photos of Namudu and he hides them. He hides them. He admits that he wants to be with her, but it should be kept as the secret. In this part, we come to realize how uh, the professor was happy to be with Namundu, how Namundu made him happy. But because he is a civil servant, he doesn't want things to be known by other people. He wants to keep it as a secret that, uh, okay, he is living with Namundu. 
okay in this part we also know that namundu reminds so we come to realize that namundu reminds professor about going to the staff club so there was a a club that was planned to be taking place uh, and the, the participants were staff members of the i mean of the university where professor coxy works therefore namundu wants also to be there Okay, dear students and the lovers of religion. In this part, Professor Cox doesn't know that Namdu is the wife of Berewa, his houseboy. Professor loves Namdu. So after having sex with Namdu several times, uh, professor finds himself loving Namundu. He says that although he has been in marriage for seven years, he has not, uh, he has not been able to enjoy. Um, there he has been happier with Namundu for that short period of time that happened together. So we come to understand that, okay, so in marriage there are different challenges that make the couples not to enjoy. And when they are not well handled, they can make people or the couples involved to be disappointed with marriage life. In this part, again, Professor, Paul Professor Namundu gives Namundu some money for her to buy a new dress. Okay, so Namundu is so much happy to receive some money for, that, for, the, for the new dress because she wants to look decent and beautiful. Later, Odiambo and Kathleen visit Professor Cox. They discuss about prostitution and how it has taken uh, roots. And this can be seen on page 34 through uh, page 35. Okay, in this part, we come to understand how prostitution seems to be a, com a, a complex matter eradicate according to Professor Cox. Uh, professor says that even if the police are involved, uh, that may also be a problem because some of the police are involved in, um, they, they are themselves the customers of those prostitutes. So you see how the problem of, of prostitution is a big problem because those who are trying to eradicate it, uh, some of them also best customers in the business. Surprisingly, Namundu, okay, so remember they are in the, you know, uh, Odiambo and the Catherine are in the house of the professor. They don't know how, if uh, uh, Namundu is there, but surprisingly, Namundu shouts and he comes to the sitting room saying that there is a black mamba. Okay, now I think here it's where the title of the play starts. Uh, it is called the Black Mamba. So she wants help. Uh, Namulu comes out uh, shouting, saying that there is a Black Mamba hiding in the house. So she wants help. Kathleen and the Odiambo are astonished to see her. And the professor is very embarrassed. Dear students, ladies and gentlemen, let us go to part three of the play. What do you expect to get there? Stay tuned. Okay, so in this uh, part, part three, Berewa blames Namdu for shouting and let, let the guests know that she was in. Namdu says that she had no way because she feared the black mamba. Namdu says that being with the professor has taught her human rights. She was well treated. She seems not to love Berewa any more. So in this part we see the things that Namdu has learned from the professor. Human rights. Berewa is angry and slaps his wife. Namdu doesn't want to be his wife. So there is a quarrel 
or a misunderstanding between Namudu and Eberewa. Namudu uh, has found herself loving the professor more than her husband. Okay, so in this part also, Professor blames Namdu. He fears to be expelled from his work for moral pollution. So, because uh, it has been discovered that he uses rape with men, women like Namdu. And therefore, the Professor feared that he would be expelled from his work. And this can be seen on page 53 of the play. Okay, dear students, in this part, so Namudu tells the, prof the professor that he has taught her many things. She says that if the professor decides to kick her out, that will be a torture and she will call the police. You see how this is going to be the problem. So, and because the professor fears... Uh, that it, it things will be disclosed that he is sleeping with women. Therefore, I think he will accept to continue staying with the number. What do you think? Okay. After a short time, two policemen enters to arrest both the professor and Namdu. The professor gives Namdu a check of money. Namdu tells the police that she is the wife of Berewa. Berewa proves it using marriage cards and uh, marriage photos. Then Professor is surprised to learn that it is true that Namdu is the wife of Berewa. And here it is where you find that this, you know, it is one of the best press to get to know that the play is comic is 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 um is a comment you see and the play ends when the professor discovers that namdu is the wife of her uh, of the houseboy who is called berewa dear students having seen or having heard about the plot summary let us now look at the form of the play. The first thing is the title of the play. Black Mamba is the title of the play. In this play, Namundu sees a black mamba in the room. As used in the play, the title can be said to be symbolic to symbolize people who hide their true nature. Example, professor's behavior of having women like Namdu was hidden. It was not commonly known by people. Okay, so dear students, Odiambo was professor's student was also like a black mamba. He had hidden traits or hidden features. He is the one who tells the police about professor's love relationship with Namdu. He was a spy, so he was just like a black mamba. Right? So that's the title of the play, and that is how the title of the play match or matches with the content. Dear students, what do you think the type of the play? What type of, of play is it? Okay, so it is okay. This play is a comedy. It makes people uh, laugh. And the last three, it ends happily. A situation whereby the real allows, allows his wife to make love with professors so that they get money is also laughable. It makes people laugh a lot. Dear students, having seen the type of the play, let us now go a little bit deeper into characterization. The first character in this play is Professor Cox. This is a white professor teaching sociology at the university. 
He is married. He is educated. He sleeps with Namundu and he gives her money for sex. He is a hypocrite. He appears good before the public but hides women at home. Professor Cox accepts or supports prostitution as long as it solves people's challenges. So according to him, prostitution brings happiness to some of the people who are heartbroken. Okay, Professor Cox is also portrays challenges of married couples. And the, the river helps him escape being techni to the police. I think I've heard the story. The African understand what I'm speaking about here. Dear students, another character is called the Berewa. And the Berewa is a houseboy of Professor Cox. He is married to Namundu. He is paid a little amount. Uh, and he gets 100 shillings. Mathry, so that's a little amount, um, a literal amount of money. But when his wife sleeps with Professor Cox, his wife gets 100 shillings just for one day. Belewa allows his wife to sleep with the professor in order for them to get money, and this it gets poverty. And another issue is Belewa is uneducated. My question now is this, dear students. What is your opinion on Belewa's decision to allow his wife to sleep with another man in order for them to get money? My question is, what is your opinion on Belewa's decision to allow his wife to sleep with another man in order for them to get money? Dear students, another character is called Odiambo, and this is professor's student of sociology. He hates prostitution. This place is used also as a spy or a government informer. He involves the rare in his spy activity. From him, we learn that prostitution is hard or difficult to deal with. Not them. Workers and all people should act or do everything carefree and morally because they can't know who is looking at them. Dear students, another character is called Namudu. Namudu, N-A-M-U-D-D-U. -D -D Namudu. This is Belewa's wife. She sleeps with a Professor Cox in order for her um, get money. She learns many things from the professor, especially on human rights. She makes professor happy during their relationship. Namudu was given money and a check by professor. Okay, so sleeping with the professor, Namudu was an indication of prostitution. My question is, if you were Namudu, would you accept to sleep with another man for money? If you were Namudu, and I'm speaking especially for the women, would you accept to sleep with another man just for money? If you have an answer, type it under the comment section there, and I'll be passing through different. Okay, thank you. Another character, ladies and gentlemen, dear students, parents, is called the police men. Another character is the police men. These are sent to arrest Professor Cox, who was a prostitute. In this play, they fail to arrest uh, Professor Cox because it is proved that Namudu is the wife of the real one. From these police, we learn how the government fails to control prostitution. Ladies and gentlemen, another character, the last character I'm going to speak about is called Kathleen Smith. And this is a new lecturer in the Department of Sociology. She shares her opinions on prostitution to 
ODR because she has a lot of experiences about it. Dear students, so that's the end of characterization. Do you have any feature you find important to be added in this part of characterization? Share it below the comment section. Now, having discussed about that, let us look at themes depicted from this play. The first theme that we find from this play that's called the Black Mamba is called Poverty. Poverty. In the play, many people are poor. And due to their poverty, people, especially women, decide to engage in prostitution to bet off poverty. Men like Berewa decided to do any job. Example, although Berewa is married, he becomes a houseboy or the houseboy of Professor Cox. He goes beyond by allowing his wife to, to strip with his master or professor so that they get money to build a, a house which was accidentally burnt down by his wife. In this play, we also see that Namata is a, is a prostitute just to, I mean, just because of poverty. Maybe just wants, she just wants to add some money. Dear students, another uh, theme is hypocrisy. Hypocrisy. Pretending to be good or be doing something while you are not. Professor Cox appears good before people, while in actual sense he isn't. He takes women other than his wife. He does so to please himself because he says that he has spent seven years in marriage but without happiness. So that is hypocrisy. Another theme, dear students, is composition of women in the society. So women in this play have been given different uh, positions or have been uh, portrayed in different positions like one, women are seen as tools for pleasure. Professor, Tech, uh, Pro Professor Cox uh, takes many women to praise himself. So, example, she, I mean, he just takes Namdu just to praise himself. Another position of women is that women are portrayed as a source of investment. For example, Berewa allows his wife to sleep with Professor Cox for them to get money so that they can just build their house which was burned accidentally by his wife. So women are portrayed as a source of investment, as a machine of creating money or wealth. Another position of women is that women are portrayed as quick in gaining awareness. Women are portrayed as quick in gaining awareness. Example, Namundu knows her rights when she starts a relationship with Professor Cox. So within that short time of having a relationship with Professor Cox, she learns a lot about her rights as a woman. Another thing, or another theme, is called the prostitution and its effects. Okay, and and I consider this to be as a main theme of the a main theme of the play. So pr pr prostitution has taken deep roots in the society. Women take it as a means of income. Men take it as a means of income, and they, however, seem not to consider its effect, its effects or its aftermath, like diseases. Prostitutes in this play are like Namata, Professor, and Namdu. However, to most of the people, prostitution is just used as a means of getting their needs because they are poor. They don't have uh, any means of just gaining some money for their livelihood. Okay, so dear students, the last uh, theme is necessity of the government or importance of the government. Government is important in controlling everything that takes place among its people. 
In this play, the government tries to stop prostitution using policemen to arrest those involved, but this seems to be impossible. The government should, however, not give up. Dear students, that is the end of the analysis of the themes, but finally, do you think that this play is relevant to our contemporary society? Do you think that uh, in our society there are people who are still involved in prostitution? And who do you think that can be the way forward to solving this problem? Thank you very much for listening to this and welcome for more analysis. But before you quit, I, I advise you and I praise you to subscribe to the channel so that you can be able to get different videos as soon as I upload them. And I think that will be a good way to support my move. Thank you very much. Ciao.